Do you know there is a country in southeastern Europe that is called Mini Russia? It is less than a thousand kilometers or around 570 miles from Ukraine. It is Serbia. While Ukrainians led by President Zelensky are bravely fighting against Russian invasion and almost entirely the world is showing solidarity, it is Serbia and its President Aleksandr Vucic that have kept the opposite line. They do support and love Russia and Vladimir Putin. If you visit Serbia, do not be surprised. You will see dozens of wall graffiti of Putin. The letter, as a symbol of Russian invasion of Ukraine, has been sprayed painted in dozens of places throughout Serbia. In last pollings, 83% of Serbian respondents saw Russia as a friend. Putin has been named as honorary citizen in about a dozen of Serbian cities. Still wondering why? Well, it is the same political and territorial goals that Serbia and Russia have been showing for decades against their neighbors. Do you remember who Slobodan Milosevic was? How many other nations have been suffering his genocidal aggression two decades ago? Around half a million people in Kosovo, Bosnia and Herzegovina, as well as Croatia, have been killed by Serbia during Milosevic's regime. He was not alone. His legacy is still strong in Serbia. The ties with Russia, even after invasion of Ukraine, remain very strong and very supportive in Serbia, aka Mini Russia. This man is the president of Serbia, Aleksandr Vucic. He has served to Milosevic as his minister of information, meaning minister of propaganda. This man is the minister of foreign affairs of Serbia, Ivica Dacic. He has served as a spokesperson of Milosevic's political party, which was a part of the state system. These two are leading Serbia for almost 20 years now. Vucic and Dacic work hand by hand with two other pro-Russian politicians. Aleksandr Vulin, one of the most pro-Russian politicians in Serbia, served as Minister of Defense and Minister of Interior. Nowadays, he is the director of Serbian main intelligence service, which actually represents a model of secret police. Vulin has succeeded another politician in Serbia, Bratislav Gashic, who currently is serving as Minister of Interior. For more, Serbia's pro-Russian leadership is practically supported by Damian Knezevic, the leader of People's Patrol, a far-right group. Knezevic organized the gathering in Belgrade to support and show solidarity with Russia. Yes, it was just a few months ago, in 2022. Serbia has refused to fully align its foreign policies with the European Union and has worked on strengthening its relations with Russia in parallel. A few weeks ago, Vucic said that Serbia remains on a European path, but also added that it will continue to nourish its friendly ties with Russia. Not only that Serbia has not imposed sanctions on Russia or distanced itself from Putin, but in contrary, Serbia has signed an agreement with Russia to consult each other on foreign policy issues. Putin and Serb President Aleksandr Vucic also have signed a new gas agreement and the state-controlled Air Serbia airline has doubled its flights from Belgrade to Moscow. On 23rd of September 2022, meaning seven months after Russia invaded Ukraine, Serbian Foreign Minister Nikola Silakovic signed the agreement along with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. Consulting Russia for Serbian foreign policy? Really? Are they going to consult each other how to promote democracy and human rights in foreign policy? Are they going to consult each other how to promote good neighborhood policies and work together for a better and peaceful region? What really Serbia has to consult Russia about its foreign policy? Actually, Serbia is posing security threat towards neighboring nations and is interfering within the neighbors, aiming to paralyze the democratic processes. In April 2023, Serbia did not allow local serfs in Kosovo northern municipalities to participate in local elections. Was Serbia consulting Russia to do so? I would not exclude that it was one of the actions of consulting Russia based on the agreement with Lavrov in September 2022. But there is always more to be discussed. Well, Russia and Serbia portray one common enemy. It's NATO and all NATO supporting nations. Mainly because Serbia, just like Russia, cannot stand democracy and good neighboring policies. 
Serbia is the only nation in Western Balkans or Southeastern Europe that is equipped with Russian systems of weapons and equipment. Serbia has armed itself mostly with Russian warplanes, drones and anti-aircraft systems. In recent months, Russia has handed over to Serbia 30 battle tanks and 30 armored personnel carriers. Serbia has also recently purchased Russian Panzer air defense systems. In 2022, President of Serbia Alexander Vucic welcomed a shipment of anti-tank missiles from Russia, leading to even more tensions in the region. In 2019, Serbia and Russia have organized a military drill named Slavic Shield 2019. Russia sent even S-400 missiles defense system to Serbia for that military drill. There are more facts to come in next video why Serbia is called mini-Russia. Until then, do not underestimate the fact that after Putin invaded Ukraine, he had strong support in Serbia, where multiple rallies were held in his honor. So, while people of Ukraine are suffering and fighting for their lives, Vucic, Dacic, Vulin, Gashic, Knezevic, respectively Serbia, is showing their solidarity, but to Russia, not to Ukraine. Nothing good comes from in Russia, Serbia.